good afternoon, YouTube. This is Steve and Emily uh, in League City, Texas. Uh, we're in our garage. Uh, current temperature outside is a little over 100. Uh, probably 90-something in here with the fans going. Another hot summer, but that's typical for South Texas. Um, and uh, we just want to introduce ourselves to YouTube because we are just starting a channel for our airplane build. So let's go back to when we started thinking about building an airplane. Why did we decide to build an airplane versus buy one? I remember we started talking about it, um, looking at used airplanes, which is always a good option. The problem is the cost, the startup cost, the out-of-pocket cost. You know more about that than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we looked at... Uh, um, you know, this is this is post-COVID, so uh, um, airplane costs went up quite a bit during COVID for unknown reasons. Um, but the aircraft used aircraft market basically doubled uh, in in, the, in cost, and um, so w we said, okay, we want a a, a four-seat aircraft or, or you know a three-seat, four-seat aircraft, uh, and to bu uh, buy a uh, legacy aircraft, you know, something uh, uh, a Mooney or a Grumman uh, or a Cessna or something. Um, for the most part, at a, at a reasonable price, you're talking about 40, 50 year old aircraft. And uh, good aircraft, but yeah, great aircraft. Nothing wrong with them. Um, but uh, they have legacy engines, le legacy avionics, uh, and um, you know, it, it, these being certified aircraft, uh, you can't work on it yourself for the most part. You can do a few things, but not much. Uh, so you have to pay somebody to, to do anything on your aircraft. And if you, depending on the aircraft you buy, the TBO on the engine may be close up. Um, so you know, you're talking about sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a uh, an air, a good, reasonably good aircraft nowadays. Um, prices may be dropping a little bit now, but that's what they were, uh, and, um, and that's up front cost, out of pocket cost. Out of pocket, right up front. Yep. And uh, so we, uh, and, and again, they have uh, with, with if you have an engine that's close to TBO, um, you're talking about minimum of ten thousand, and and maybe up to forty or fifty thousand dollars to uh, to replace the engine, uh, and. Um, uh, and then, and then you talk about you know fifty to sixty thousand for an avionics upgrade. So if you look at the cost of of, of a, a reasonably priced, but in good, con fairly good condition, older legacy aircraft, forty fifty years old, um, for the most part, you're talking probably about you know fifty sixty seventy thousand. Uh, then you add in ten to fifty thousand for an engine if needed, or at some point. Uh, and and sixty seventy thousand for a, a, an avionics upgrade. So you're, you're talking about one hundred and fifty thousand, somewhere in that range, pretty soon. Um, and uh, so we we looked around at, at other aircraft, and we looked at the seriously at the RV ten and the Sling aircraft, the Sling TSI, uh, both exceptional airplanes, uh, both kits. Um, you can buy them in kits, in, in sections at a time, and, and pay as you go. Like layaway at Sears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish Sears was still around anymore, boy. <coughs> Sears was a great, great store. Uh, that's a whole other discussion. Uh, but, um, yeah, we, we, there's a lot of options available for both aircraft. Uh, more so for the RV-10, but uh, certainly the Sling is becoming uh, a very popular aircraft. Um, I know that there's over a thousand of the RVs flying. Uh, it's not quite a thousand of the slings flying, but they are um, in Africa, in Europe, in the United States. Uh, quite significant numbers now, and in climbing now. Um, good aircraft, good safety uh, record. Good safety features. Good safety features. That's right. The uh, sling you can order the order it with the ballistic parachute. Uh, you can retrofit an older airplane with it. And they have a, a retrofit kit, not retrofit, they, they have a, a ballistic kit for the, uh, for the uh, RV-10. And some people are opting to, to go that way. 
Uh, but when you start thinking about a family, um, then you start thinking, you know, especially if you've got kids, and, and you might want to consider putting in a, a ballistic parachute. So the sling has that ability to put it in in the beginning. Um, and uh, we just decided on the sling. It was a, a better choice for us. Um, and the build time was a little bit less than it was for the, um, the RV-10. Uh, so... Um, we should probably insert one tiny detail here. Neither one of us are pilots. Yeah. So the build time would also give us a chance to study up and get our pilot's license at the same time. Yeah, that, that was another thing too. Uh, you know, we, I, we checked out flight schools in the area uh, and to, to become a pilot, um, you're talking about twenty to thirty thousand dollars per person um, by the time you get through uh, with enough hours to get your pilot's license. So instead of becoming pilots first, we decided to take that money and put it into the uh, kits of the airplane. Uh, and we figured later on we could become pilots as we get closer to the airplane build, or, or completing the build. Um, and uh, we probably won't be able to fly our own aircraft for our, our, uh, our pilot license, but um, very soon after we, we, we might be able to do that. And so. The transition should be pretty quickly from private pilot into our own aircraft. So that was another thought process that we went into our minds. Yeah. And uh, just the fact that you can build your own airplane from the ground up is something that I had never thought of in before. And um, so basically when you put it together yourself, you know, you've got to make sure you stand by your hand handicraft and um, follow the rules and know your, your airplane literally inside and out. Yeah, and it, when, when you look at the, at the, like I said, when we go back to cost, you, you're talking about, uh, um, you know, 150000 or so for a, to bring a legacy aircraft up, up to date with new avionics and engine and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, you start thinking about, well, you know, building an RV-10 or a Sling TSI, yeah, it's a little bit more money, uh, but we'll have a brand new aircraft. Um, as, as of this date, it is, uh, what are we at, September of... Uh, 2nd of 2023. Of 2023. So um, by the time we finish in another couple of years, uh, uh, we'll have a brand new aircraft in 2025. It's not 40 or 50 years old. So all of those things made, went into the decision for us to, uh, to build our own aircraft. And one that we could leave our, our daughter turn into a legacy craft. Yeah, we, when, when we pass on, we can, we can um, <laughs> and she's only 13 months now. So uh, um, she, uh, uh, she can get her pilot's license in our, in our own airplane. And uh, instead of driving the car to prom, she can fly to prom in her own airplane. So we thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. So um, yeah, we, we were building this with the idea that um, this aircraft will become our daughter's uh, as, as she grows up. 